How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create seamless Instagram carousels for free using Canva. This is an example of a carousel you can make. As you can see, this image is displayed across two posts. So when people swipe across, it looks like one continuous image. I'll be using the web version of Canva for this tutorial, so let's get started. Firstly, open up Canva and create a design with custom dimensions. The usual dimensions for an Instagram post are 1080 by 1080. However, for a carousel, you can also use 1080 by 1350, which is taller than usual. You can use either one. In this case, I'll keep it square or one to one ratio, but bear in mind that Instagram will crop the image to make it square when displayed on the feed. Now, what we want to create is two posts next to each other. So I'm going to use 2160 wide by 1080 high. In a carousel, you can fit between two to 10 images in one post. So if you wanted 10 images, you might be thinking that you can create a design that is 10 posts wide, which is 10,800 pixels. Unfortunately, this width is too wide for Canva. In my experience, anything over four posts wide is too much. I tried it with four posts and Canva just took too long to respond with every action and uh, it really slowed down the operation. It might just be my computer or internet connection, but for me, it's easier to work with two posts side by side and then make more if you need to. Now we have the page set up, we can click on file, show rulers. Then we click and drag from the side ruler to create a guide to show us where the post separates. This is exactly in the middle at 1080 pixels. It should turn purple and snap in place once you reach the middle. Now we can clearly see the two posts side by side. If you want to make a carousel with two or more posts, you can duplicate or add new pages. Of course, each page is two posts wide. So if you want a five page carousel, just create three pages of two and leave the last one blank. I'll show you how to split the image at the end using a free online tool and then we can just omit the last page and you can upload five images to Instagram. Now we have the page set up, we can start to create our design. I'll first add a background color, then an image that spans across two posts. If you're looking for images with no backgrounds, I'll show you where I got this image shortly. You can of course remove backgrounds in Canva if you have the pro version. Now I'll add some text on the main carousel cover and some text on the second page. You can find logos in the elements tab. So that's where I got the Instagram and Canva logos. Now to create an image that spans from the second page to the third page, you need to do some cropping. So I want this Canva logo to appear across page two and three, but the pages are on top of each other in the Canva editor. So. What I do is duplicate the logo. I then turn the opacity of one of them down so I can place them exactly on top of each other. In order to slice the logo in the correct place, I position the logo over one of the blue lines and use that as a guide. I then crop the two images either side of the line. Now I effectively have one image sliced in two when actually it's two separate logos. Now I position this at the edge of the post and the remaining part on the other page. To make sure we have the correct height, I use another line guide dragged down from the top ruler. I place this line exactly in the middle of the Canva logo. Then make sure you remember the position, which is 223. Then line up the rest of the logo in the middle of the line place that line 223 on the third page. So now I need to move this logo to the middle of line 223. The logo should now appear perfectly when scrolling across. You might need to do some finer adjustments to get it exactly right. I've just shown you a quick method that I use. Now we can finish off the design. I like to add these arrows to let users know they can swipe across. It may also be useful to number the pages. This helps you upload them in the correct order later on and it also helps the user follow along the carousel. You can now design a carousel how you want and even change the color of the different pages. Here are some useful resources where you can find free photos. You've probably heard of Unsplash, Pixabay and Pexels. Another good one I found is morgfile.com. 
If you want PNG pictures with no backgrounds, then check out these free sites. They have a good collection of photos as well as illustrations and icons. Photos.icons8.com is where I downloaded the PNG image of this gentleman without a background. Make sure you check the license agreement on each image. You can find tons more and the filters on the left hand side are useful for drilling down into specific categories. If you want illustrations, freepick.com is a good one. If you click on stories by freepick, you can customize the illustrations as well. It's worth bookmarking if you want. Once you put all the pictures together, it should look something like this. On this page, I was testing out a page transition using the torn paper effect. You can find this in Elements if you search for Paper Frame or Torn Paper Frame. So with this one, you can add images in between the torn bits. If you like this effect, you can find that there. Once you've finished your overall design, click on Download, select the pages you want and then download as a PNG. It will normally be saved as a zip file, so I just unzip it in the same location. Now we have to split the pages so we have individual posts to add to Instagram. You can use a website called pinetools.com. This is a pretty cool website that has loads of free online tools to do various tasks. It might also be a good one to bookmark if you like any of these. What we want is the split image tool. You can find it under images or just go to pinetools.com forward slash split dash image. Upload your files one at a time. We want to split the image horizontally in two equal blocks. I'll also select PNG, then click split image and download the files. Do that for all your pages and they should now be ready to upload to Instagram. If you did this on your computer, you can send the files to your phone via email or Google Drive or Dropbox and then just upload it to Instagram from there. Congratulations, you now know how to make a carousel for free using Canva. Hopefully you also discovered some other useful tools and websites that will serve you well in the future. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe. I truly appreciate your support. More videos are in production, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next one.